Have you ever wondered what silence communicates in a relationship, particularly with a narcissist? Silence, this simple yet profound state of being, can hold immense power. In the realm of relationships, it becomes a language, a form of communication that can be as potent as words. But how does this silent language play out in the context of a relationship with a narcissist? Narcissists, by nature, thrive on attention and validation. When confronted with silence, they may interpret it as a threat, a challenge, or an affront to their self-perceived grandeur. This can lead to a range of reactions, from attempts to regain control to heightened aggression. Yet, silence can also be a tool, a means of asserting one's presence and establishing boundaries. It's a delicate balance, navigating the silent waters in a relationship with a narcissist. Silence, as we see, has a language of its own, and understanding its nuances can be a game changer in relationships. Are you aware that a narcissist can turn your silence into a manipulative tool? In the complex dance of human interaction, narcissists are particularly adept at exploiting the silent moments. What may seem like harmless pauses can be manipulated into opportunities for control. For instance, a narcissist might interpret your silence as a sign of agreement or acceptance, seizing it as an opportunity to push their agenda. They may also use silence to create an uncomfortable atmosphere, prompting you to break the silence and thus inadvertently surrendering to their whims. In other instances, they might twist your silence into a narrative that suits their needs, portraying themselves as the misunderstood or the victimized. These are just a few examples of how silence, a seemingly neutral entity, can be weaponized in the hands of a narcissist. It's crucial to recognize these covert tactics and understand that your silence can be exploited for manipulation. The silence we thought was our sanctuary can become a playground for manipulation in the hands of a narcissist. How can we communicate effectively and set healthy boundaries with a narcissist? This question may seem daunting, but the answer lies in understanding and practicing protective communication strategies. Assertive communication is a powerful tool to utilize. It's not about dominating the conversation or becoming confrontational. Rather, it's about expressing your feelings, needs, and rights clearly and respectfully without infringing on those of others. When dealing with a narcissistic partner, setting well-defined boundaries is crucial. It's about outlining what is acceptable and what isn't in your relationship. Healthy dialogue involves a mutual respect for these boundaries. It's okay to say no and to express your discomfort when these boundaries are crossed. These strategies may not change the narcissist, but they can certainly change how you respond to them and in turn, how they affect you. Remember, the key lies in understanding our silence and using it as a tool for effective communication. How do we ensure our silence does not become a weapon used against us? This is where embracing boundaries comes into play. It's about setting and reinforcing your personal limits, creating a space where you feel safe and respected. Think of your boundaries as an invisible line separating you from the narcissist. This line acts as a shield, protecting your inner peace from their attempts to manipulate or exploit your silence. But how do we establish these boundaries? It starts with clear, assertive communication. Express your needs and expectations confidently. Don't be afraid to say no when you need to. Remember, it's not about being confrontational, but about preserving your emotional well-being. However, maintaining these boundaries can be challenging, especially when dealing with a narcissist who may try to blur or cross these lines. But hold firm. Reinforce your boundaries. Understand that it's okay to put yourself first. In the face of narcissistic behavior, your silence can be your shield, not your weakness. Can silence be a source of strength and empowerment? Yes, indeed it can. It all comes down to how you perceive and utilize it. Instead of seeing silence as a vulnerability, view it as a potent tool, a tool that allows you to reflect, analyze, and create strategies for self-protection and personal growth. Imagine your silence as a fortress, a safe space where you can retreat, gather your thoughts, and plan your next move. It's a place where you can shut out the noise, the manipulation, and focus on what truly matters, your well-being and happiness. Taking proactive steps is crucial. This could mean setting boundaries, seeking professional help, or simply learning more about narcissistic behavior. It's about taking control and owning your narrative. Remember, you're not alone in this journey. Reach out to friends, family, or professional resources. Build your support network because together we are stronger. 
Your silence is your power. Use it wisely and it becomes your path to empowerment.